Hey, hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I wanted to bring you another pregnancy update. I usually do these every couple weeks, but I'm 37 weeks pregnant and thought now that I'm getting checked by my doctor every week and things are really getting down to the wire, <laughs> um, I'm just gonna maybe do these every week until I have the baby. So if you're interested to see how this past week has been going for us, go ahead and keep watching. So this past week I have been so exhausted. Um, I remember being really tired in the beginning of my pregnancy, but this is just a different kind of exhaustion. I feel so heavy and my body just really aches all over and so I have to just stop what I'm doing and lay down and sort of recover for an hour or two take a load off, literally, um, by resting my stomach. Like just, it's so hard to carry this heavy thing around. And so I either take a bath or a nap or something just to like take weight off my feet. Um, Cause my feet do get swollen too. So anyway, um, if I do that, then I feel pretty good after, you know, just doing that for an hour or two. And then I'm able to get back up and work and all that kind of stuff, do stuff around the house or work um, on my actual work because <laughs> I do still work full time. Um, I work in marketing. So for those of you who are new here, um, I work nine to five basically. But um, the past week, I haven't been going to the office. I've been going to the office basically every day, but um, I haven't been staying there as long as I usually do. So I just kind of stay there until I feel... Um, like it's time for me to leave, like I need to take that break and come home and rest. Um, luckily I'm super blessed with a great job that allows for that. Um, and unless I have a meeting or something, then I don't necessarily have to be at the office, but I do like being at the office, especially right now as I'm trying to get everything covered before I take maternity leave. Um, so yeah, so I just work as much as I can, come home, take a nap or whatever, and then continue whatever work I needed to finish for the day just here at home with my feet up on the couch. So speaking of maternity leave, we did finally um, decide kind of my official timeline of maternity leave that I'll be taking. Um, it will start beginning of May and then I'll go back towards the end of June. Um, I'll start going back into work the end of June, as long as me and baby girl are healthy. Um, it should be a pretty easy transition I'm hoping for um, because my husband and I both work for the same company and we both have a lot of freedom as to where we can be working. So we're just gonna figure out um, how we're gonna tag team <laughs> taking care of our daughter slash working and all that stuff. So I think I'm going to be pretty excited to get back to work, honestly, after having her just because I have always worked. I love working full time. I love my coworkers and my job and what I do, people I work with, all that stuff. So I'm almost like, oh, I'm going to miss everyone when I'm on maternity leave. And I won't be surprised if we end up going to visit, um, you know, even before I go officially back to work and Eric obviously works for the same company like I said so <clears throat> we still will be like totally connected and stuff but um anyway so that's the plan for now um and I did talk that over with my doctor and he felt good about that it's about a six week time frame of me to be like really resting and taking care of myself and bonding with the baby and making sure we both recover from the birth so I am just like I, I can't even believe we're here it's crazy and I think one of the most exciting things this week that happened was I went to the doctor just yesterday actually and um, he checked me I'm not dilated at all um, but I am 70% effaced and I talked to him about being induced because I'm just so worried about going over I'm not worried. I know, like, I know I can handle it. However, I am just so uncomfortable 
and I just, I don't know, like if I don't have to go over my due date, I mean, then <clears throat> why should I, <laughs> I guess? As long as it, like the baby is healthy, I'm healthy, everyone's safe. Um, so I just wondered what his thoughts were about being induced. So basically what he told me was that he will induce me if I'm two centimeters dilated and I think he said 80% of the face or maybe 100%, I can't remember, but I know I at least have to be, have to be two centimeters dilated. And he said um, that once I hit that point, he would induce me and he would feel totally fine about it because my pregnancy has been pretty textbook, pretty perfect is what he said. I'm measuring perfectly. Um, he measured me yesterday and I was measuring exactly what, like how far along I am. So he's thinking that I will be, I will have no problem dilating to two um, here soon. So um, he did say though that it, even if I'm not dilated to a two by my due date, he would still go ahead and feel totally comfortable inducing me on that day. So that's the plan as of right now. We are scheduled to be induced on our due date. And if for some reason we decide, like I just can't take it anymore, and maybe I dilate sooner, um, then maybe we might go earlier. But I think the only reason we would have her earlier is if she came on her own. I think that's kind of where I'm feeling is best and Eric as well. Um, we're not really in a rush to be induced um, except for until our actual due date. So we're just planning on that and then if she decides she wants to come earlier, I'm totally okay with that. So we did finally finish our nursery and I um, did a nursery tour video last a few days ago. So I will link that down below and above here in the cards. So you guys can check that out. We had a lot of fun putting that together and it feels so good to have it done. We're just super excited, super excited. Um, we just feel so ready. And so that's why we're like, yeah, if she wants to come early, she will totally take her. She can come early. We're ready. Um, the only thing I have left to do is pack my hospital bag, which I think I'm going to do tonight. And I will film what I'm putting in that. Um, Cause that's kind of a popular request from people that I've heard. They want to see what I'm packing. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much the last little step that we have um, until we meet our baby girl, like the last little thing that we need to do. We did decide on a name. We are good to go with a name. Unless for some reason we have her and we both decide that we want something different. I don't know. I doubt that will happen. We're pretty settled on this name. I even bought something for her nursery that has like an initial, um, the first initial of her name. So that makes it pretty official, right? <laughs> um, and I am still in full nesting mode. I keep cleaning the heck out of this house. Like something will be already dusted and shined and polished and I will go back and dust and shine and polish it. It's just so satisfying. I can't help myself from cleaning and cleaning and cleaning. So anyway, so that is it for this video, you guys. Not much else to report. My symptoms are pretty much the same. Just lots, I'm just super tired, lots of swelling, none that's concerning to my doctor though, so we're good there. So yeah, we are just waiting for this baby girl to come finally hang out with us and make her debut. Anyway, if you guys aren't already, already following me on Instagram, please go ahead and check me out over there because that's where I do day -to, more day-to-day -day updates. I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>